The Mill on the Floss is a novel that was written by George Eliot, the pen name of author Mary Ann Evans, and published in 1860. The novel was originally published in three parts. It was very successful and was adapted into a film as early as 1937. It was Eliot's second novel and one of her most successful of all time. The novel tells the story of the Tulliver family and their wild, unruly daughter Maggie, who lives at Dolcourt Mill on the Floss River. Maggie considers her older brother Tom her best friend, and the two get along well. However, Tom's schoolmate Philip meets Maggie one day and begins to fall in love with her. The Tulliver's father, Mr. Tulliver, soon makes a bad investment with Philip's father, and the family goes bankrupt. Mr. Tulliver makes the children promise never to see Philip again. Tom manages to make some good business decisions and returns the family to their former glory. While Maggie must contend with Philip and her cousin suitor Stephen, who has also fallen in love with her. However, Stephen does not take the rejection well and spirits Maggie away against her will to the next town over. After accidentally getting lost on the way home, Maggie returns five days later, and the entire town assumes that she has been despoiled. Tom throws her out of the house, and Maggie is sent to live with her aunt. But soon there is a great flood in the town, and Maggie bravely takes to a small boat to paddle to the mill to save her brother. Tom is so touched by her loyalty that he forgives her right before the boat capsizes, and the two siblings drown in the flood waters.